at 2 p.m. Their house is on fire. Uh, this is our house. house. The videos are hard to watch. They did not share this video with me. They did not let me see this video until we knew that my husband was safe. The fire took nearly everything from Deborah Hammock and her family. That's our house with the roof collapsed in. Her house was one of the first to burn, so just sorry. down the street from where it's believed the fire started. Nearly a thousand others would soon follow. It made a knot in my stomach and my heart, like, like a fist. And so that seemed, that's when I thought, this is awful. How are we going to recover from this? Deborah has taught special education and social studies at Centaurus High School for 16 years. Now her students are teaching her about recovery. And I keep saying we are the luckiest of the thousand families. It's, I never thought that something so terrible would also be so beautiful. After a friend started a GoFundMe for a couple of teachers at the school who lost their homes, students, alums, and other teachers started donating. Five dollars from some, ten dollars from others. Nothing big, anything to help a teacher get back on her feet. What people give is what they can give. And sometimes ten dollars is more valuable than a thousand dollars if you look at the giver and you consider what people are able to give. And it doesn't matter how much, it's the thought and the heart. School starts up again tomorrow. There's a lot to learn from a story like this. I would have never expected that on the day we left. I would have never expected that I would think just in a few days, wow, people are beautiful. And each little joy is so important. Deborah's home was built in the 1860s. It was an old stagecoach stop. It was one of the oldest buildings in Boulder County to be continuously opera occupied. Now, Deborah plans to go back to school tomorrow. She says that she can't wait to get back to somewhere that feels normal, Kyle. That's what I was most curious about, Mark, how she was feeling about the idea of getting back in class. She went back in for a teacher in service day today just to make some copies and she said walking into her classroom she just took a deep breath and said this feels like normal after so much that's happened over the last couple of days that felt like normal mm, secondary home it's still there all right Mark Salinger thank you